Hi, I'm Scott Tennant. I'm Director of Communications here at Vitamix, and we're going to show you some of the new products we have uh, offering here at the International Home and Houseware Show 2016. And we're going to start right here with the Vitamix 780. This is our newest uh, product offering, full-size blender. Uh, this is the first time that we've actually had a touch response control. This is a LED touch responsive. Uh, and in addition to that, we have uh, presets here, everything from frozen desserts and smoothies to hot soups. Uh, there is a self-cleaning program, so you just uh, fill up the 64-ounce low-profile container here with uh, about half full with warm water, drop a dish soap. You can run that uh, cleaning program, walk away, come back, rinse it out, dry it, and you are set to go with another blend. So uh, it's interesting that the touch response here was actually... Uh, customer driven. We had people asking for that. They'd seen it in other types of kitchen technology and other technology. So this is the first time that we've actually incorporated it into uh, one of our machines. Uh, as you'll see with uh, all Vitamix full-size machines, we have the tamper here, which you can use to blend especially tough ingredients. The tamper helps you get rid of uh, air pockets and cavities that sometimes hinder blending and makes them a lot easier to work with things like nut butters and those tough to blend ingredients so that you don't have to stop the machine, scrape some of it out. You just get the tamper in there, work it a little, and you're done that much faster as a result of that. And of course, the tamper is designed with the collar to go through our lid plug so that it doesn't, never makes contact with the blades, but gets right down in there and uh, pushes the ingredients. You know, this is, uh, certainly this is true of the Vitamix 780, but it's true of all Vitamix machines that uh, the way that the machine is built, the way it's engineered, the way it's designed is in such a way that everything works together to create what we believe is a perfect blend. So you have the ridges here on the side of the containers that helps create a vortex that pulls ingredients down into the bottom of the container. Um, you have our laser cut stainless steel blades which are cut against the grain of the steel for maximum uh, strength and durability and you'll see each of those four blade tips are uh, angled just slightly differently so that together again is a complete system that works together and this low profile container uh, will fit under most standard kitchen cabinets you know when we first came out with the 64 ounce containers one of the comments we got a few years ago a lot was I love it but doesn't fit under my cabinets. So same capacity, a little squatter. Some people call it the squat container. We call it the, the, the low profile container. Either way, it is a large capacity container and you can fill this container up to the top and blend from it. You know, quite honestly, with a lot of competitors, what you're going to see is that uh, you need to keep the ingredients down to a certain level because it can't process the entire contents of the container if you fill up to the top. But with the Vitamix, you can. So uh, we, we think the com combination of uh, the standard, very, very powerful Vitamix motor, the uh, engineered and designed container, and the blades with the tamper uh, make for some powerful blending, versatile blending, very, very durable machine. You know, most Vitamix machines last at least three times longer than the competition, if not longer. And uh, we're finding, we're getting a lot of great reaction to the 780 here since we introduced it in the fall. So this is our newest full-size blender. This is the Vitamix 780, available in the black finish here. Uh, the 780, what really distinguishes it is that it has this uh, LED touch control. Uh, we've had a lot of customers have positive experiences with touch screen controls, with other types of technology, including kitchen appliances. And they asked us to incorporate it, so we did here with the Vitamix 780. So it has your start and stop button. It will not start until you actually have depressed the start button. And then you can see, the, just like the normal Vitamix that has the variable speed dial, here you control it just with a finger. So we start with a low speed. We can take it up to two, three, and as we go up the scale here, you can hear the uh, blender rev a little bit more all the way up to 10. And we can take it back down. Now the 780 also has these programs on the side so this is just set and walk away type uh, convenience that it offers you have frozen desserts on there hot soups smoothies and a cleaning program as well and the cleaning uh, feature is always one of the most popular features for Vitamix is the fact that you could just fill the container up about halfway with warm water a drop or two of dish soap you run it for 30 to 60 seconds this preset will actually do it for you and uh, you rinse it dry it and you're ready to go to cook some more so this is the Vitamix 780 it's our newest full-sized machine.
Vitamix. Welcome you to uh, International Houseware Show 2016 and the Vitamix booth. Uh, we're going to demonstrate a couple of our uh, key uh, machines that we've got to show here today, especially our uh, brand new 780 touchscreen unit that we've got. Um, but first, what we'd like to do is uh, uh, show you a little video uh, based upon something that we've come up with that we think has, uh, is going to change the way people think about high-performance blending. Uh, and what we're, what we're thinking is really uh, why Vitamix, outside of the durability, the convenience, uh, the power and the precision, um, what we're able to do is determine what is high-quality blending. Beautiful. So what we were able to come up with is uh, something called a black bean test, uh, or as we call it, the blend quality index. What it involves is blending black beans with water for one minute. Uh, with that minute, what you what you can kind of see is uh, the uh, there is a lot of uh, misclaiming out there as far as what high blending quality is. As you can see, uh, we take those black beans, we blend them for a minute. Uh, you see how smooth our, our Vitamix machine can get it and what our competitor is left with. Um, it's, a, it's a mixture between the blades, the container, the base, everything working together. Uh, and on average, we performed uh, 10 times better than our leading competitors. Uh, so it really speaks to what uh, blend performance is and what it will become here for the future. So that was our competitors. Unfortunately, not as smooth as ours. Um, as you can see, what we do is we take uh, black beans, water, blend them for one minute, uh, and then that's it. And we'll go ahead and stop that there. We've got a really nice fine ground cornmeal. And again, what we did is we took raw popcorn kernels, put them into the container, and now we come out with a nice ground cornmeal. We'll take that, and now uh, we're really going to switch over to our 780. Uh, we're going to make a cornbread batter, but uh, what we're going to load with this, and as you can see, uh, a whole different design, a whole different uh, Vitamix machine that we've got here. First LED touchscreen display, um, the, all the classic features of our Pro 750, but in a touchscreen format. So you've got the, uh, the variability from 1 to 10, you've got your smoothie, frozen dessert, hot soup, uh, puree and your cleaning function as well, uh, all in a really nice sleek design. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to make actually take our cornmeal and make our cornbread batter. So we've got uh, one cup of buttermilk. Two eggs. Touch of sugar. Just a little bit of oil. And what we're going to do, and what we're able to do in this machine, is we're going to uh, basically cream these ingredients together, making the liquid portion uh, of our cornmeal batter. So we'll take this, we'll push one, and as you can see, when I push one, it lights up, uh, as well as when I bring my fingers all the way up to 10, it lights up as your finger goes with it. So we'll start with one, press the start button, and we'll slowly increase it to five, and we'll run this for about 10 to 15 seconds. And what this is doing is creaming all those ingredients together, the eggs, the oil, the sugar, to make a base. And it's come together nicely. So now what we'll do is we'll take our cornmeal that we did previously, same cornmeal, same type of consistency, as well as a little bit of flour, as well as a little bit of baking powder and salt that we're added in secure our lid, and now we're going to select variable 5, and we're going to use the pulse feature. And what we're going to do is pulse this 5 or 6 times, really just to incorporate our cornmeal, our flour, and all of our dry ingredients. Cool. So then right here, we've got our nice cornmeal batter that can go into the oven into your small uh, small muffin tins, large muffin tins. If you want to do a preheated cast iron skillet, works out great too. But that's our cornbread batter.